What's up guys, my name is Dean, aka The Blue Crusader, and welcome back to the channel. It looks like it's time again to group up some of the best mods for Minecraft to show you for the latest update. The new Minecraft update just dropped with some bug fixes, and if you're already on 1.16.5, you'll be wanting to use some of the new mods. In this video, I'll be showcasing you a fresh list of mods for the latest update, Minecraft 1.16.5, the nether update. If you want to see even more mods, make sure to check out my last one, on the top 10 Minecraft 1.16.4 mods, as most of them will probably be already updated or updated soon too. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Number 10, Productive Bees. If you loved Minecraft 1.15.2, the Buzzy Bees update, the Productive Bees mod might be fun for you as it let you utilise your bees to work to fully automate and gather resources. This mod adds a total of 80 brand new bees and 32 different advanced beehives that let you produce your favoured resources. With multicoloured bees, there's a brand new range of hives with an advanced hive GUI. Number 9, Better Weather. Adding brand new weather events into Minecraft that makes survival far more interesting, the Better Weather mod adds a series of weather events to the game. The first is acid rain that can be distinguished by the green coloured raindrops that fall from the sky. These can injure mobs, players or animals, and damage vegetation and grass in game. This could potentially further impact copper blocks in Minecraft 1.17, the caves and cliffs update, if they choose to update this mod to that update. Then there's also the blizzard which introduces fast moving snow with dense fog and strong winds to the game. The water during this phase will freeze fast and snow will really layer up and have different heights. After it passes, snow will decay in non-icy areas, but beware walking in a blizzard because you'll be slowed down. Number 8, Animal Crops. The Animal Crops mod adds two all new items to the game which are animal seeds and animal lilies. The seeds are planted upon grass and grow passive animals over the course of time, whereas the lilies are unplaced upon water and grow water animals. With custom recipes for each seed, animal bushes will sometimes also rarely generate and drop seeds when broken. This is not so realistic, but it's a fun mod that's quite alternative. Number 7, Iron Furnaces. Taking inspiration from the popular Iron Chest mod that added multiple tiers of chests to the game with varying levels of storage, this mod adds a collection of different tiered furnaces to the game with varying levels of speed. All of the furnaces are based off the different ores in the game, with iron, gold and diamond being prevalent as well as an obsidian and crystal furnace too. Number 6, Angel Ring. If you want to be able to fly like in creative mode, to travel across the world or even build easier, the Angel Ring will let you do this. You place it into the correct slot and use spacebar just like you do in vanilla mode to fly in creative, and when you unequip or equip it, it will toggle the fly mode ability. Number 5, Portality. Originally created for a mod jam, this mod gives you the freedom to create portals which you can then link together and use to travel to places or transfer things between them. You first craft a couple of portal controller blocks with frames connecting them and make the structure which is three blocks deep with a controller sitting in the bottom row at the centre surrounded by frame blocks. You can open up the interface and manage the portal links here. There's a number of module functions that let you transfer items, fluids and energy across these portals also. Number 4, Better Burning. The Better Burning mod tweaks the burning and fire mechanics existent in Minecraft in order to preserve balance and improve the immersion. Skeletons that are on fire will now have a chance of firing a flaming arrow which burns you upon impact. Flint and steel also causes burn damage, but this will impact the item's durability. If you are using a fire resistance potion, the burn timer will be cleared on the player. There's also a fix for fire damage, not always granting cooked meat drops, and when mobs on fire attack other mobs, it has the chance now to spread this fire to them too. Number 3, Unique Atlas. If you want a special map screen in game, try Unique Atlas. This is basically a craftable item that you use as a map that lets you click and drag to navigate it, as well as use your mouse's scroll wheel to zoom in and out. There's also some on-screen buttons letting you toggle markers or add and remove them as you wish. Number 2, Decorative Blocks. This mod introduces some new decorative blocks into Minecraft, hence its name. There's a new bonfire created by tossing blaze powder into a fire, thatch created by opening hay bales with shears, wooden palisades and beams, braziers for lighting up your room and chandeliers for the ceilings, as well as types of trapdoors and chains and rock types and stone pillars. 
Number one, cosmetic armor reworked. This mod adds a system similar to other games like Terraria in which you can equip two different sets of armor simultaneously. One set is for cosmetic purposes, for display, and the other for functional purposes to give you armor and protection. You can also choose to completely hide armor from your skin, which would be pretty overpowered server side in PvP, although you can also stop the mod running from client side when PvPing. To open up the cosmetic armor menu, you can bind a special key in the inventory submenu in the control section and then access your armor slots this way. Honorable mention outvoted. The aim of the outvoted mod is to add content more specifically in the form of mobs from the previous Minecraft live mob votes that unfortunately didn't make the cut into the game. The mod currently has three different mobs with unique functions which are based off mobs from the 2017 Minecraft live mob vote. The first is the Hovering Inferno, which is a blaze style mob with a high number of health and armor that has a fireball wave and a shield block attack. The Great Hunger can burrow in the sand and hide and deal a lot of damage, spawning in desert and swamp biomes with a texture of dirt or sand depending where it is, letting it camouflage. The last is the Kraken, aka the monster of the ocean depths, which spawns in the deep oceans, chasing the player and boats and pulling them underwater. The mobs also drop cool items, with the Inferno dropping a shield that blocks enemy attacks and set them on fire, and its helmet that offers fire protection. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, and if you disagree with the top 10 mods in this video, and you think I missed your favourite Minecraft 1.16.5 mod, then definitely let me know what it is in the comment section, and tell me your favourite favourite of these 10 featured mods from this video and why you liked it. For more Minecraft videos, subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on and follow me at the Blue Crusader on Instagram for more updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.